I'm laying this out kind of ad hoc. I didn't go into a CAD program and design a complete body with, I went to where I buy steel and aluminum and I went through their scrap bins and I got 50-52 uh, and I was just kind of laying this out and I wanted to point out some considerations. What to do about electric brakes is one of the things you have to consider. I've decided to remove the electric brakes. My plan has always been to do wildlife photography with these robots. I always end up doing other things with them. For wildlife photography, I want complete silence. I don't want this robot to make any unnecessary sounds and these make a click every time they engage and disengage. For the purposes of total stealth, I am going to remove the brakes. What's my plan for fabricating this? This piece, when you bolt these two, that is the critical strength point in this particular design because these motors don't have any bolt holes on the bottom. You don't want the motors hanging down. You want ground clearance that's how you get the maximum clearance here is by putting this down so these are going to go in this way and then they get bolted together with a plate and that's going to make the basis the the main basis of the whole frame that's where i'm starting is get this plate made I was thinking for this piece I might go with steel and then for the bottom and the sides or the the pan underneath of it go with aluminum. The tricky part now is how do we find the position of these holes? I've got an old scrap of plexi. It's very important to get these drive shafts um, squared up and perpendicular in all the ways that they need to be. So this becomes the template. Well, what I'll do is I'll drill the holes, put the bolts in, and if the bolts all fit well, then the template is good. If not, the template is garbage. Throw it away and start over. So we're drilling into plastic. This is an old 5 16 drill bit. It's not new out of a set. It's one that I had sitting in a tub with a bunch of other old drill bits. It's probably dull and I'm going to dull it even more because drilling into plastic can be pretty scary business. You can crack it, chip it, the thing can go flying, it gets sharp. Um, so what I'm going to do, try for the first time a little trick that I saw on YouTube and uh, I'm just going to dull the end of this drill bit and we'll see if that if that if that does it I'm gonna use the sander I'm gonna sand this dull I sanded these edges off I'm trying to make a zero rake bit out of this basically actually pretty scary stuff drilling into plastic So all the bolts fit in with no problems, no, no binding. There it is. I got a layout template for probably one of the most important parts. This piece determines how square drive shafts are. These are two and a half inches on center. Five and an eighth. But what I need to do is find the center line of this. OK, 
Okay, now we find the center line on this. Okay, we've got these marked out with the template. Use the transfer punches. We've got those all marked out. Now it's time to drill some holes. Okay, I've got a bit that's, what is it, 21 64 It's 1 64th larger than 5 16 So I'm just going to quick go through these. a good solid that's good wow I'm really happy with that is this parallel with this so that's five inches boy that that actually is parallel <laughs> 